Did you know that the Hammer set play is named after Darvin Ham while he was playing for Milwaukee Bucks under the lead of the legendary coach George Carl? Later, this action was embraced by many teams, modified, and improved, so it became a very efficient hitter. Today, we'll show you how to train it from the shooter's standpoint, so you'll understand all the reads and how to react to whatever the defense decides to do. Coming in a bit. We are Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Certified Skill Enhancement Trainer, Highest Level Professional Team Coach, and Peter Peric First Tier International Professional Player in Croatia, Germany, and Slovakia, and we welcome you to our Game Enhancement section. The hammer is the action created after a step-up pick and roll or a baseline penetration which leads to a pass towards the weak side corner, where the player in the corner, should be open, after a flare or step-up screen. As each defense has its own strategy, and as the level gets higher, the spaces become tighter, and so on, we set three main rules on how the shooter should react, and together with the passer to create an unbeatable synergy. The first option is the most common. As the ball handler penetrates the baseline, the shooter should slash to the corner. To simulate the hammer screen, Pero will start in the corner, and as the penetration occurs, he will have to go uphill on the arch, touch the cone purposely set there, and come back for the shot. The rule is that as soon as the ball handler touches the paint, Pero should be in the corner for the shot. This is the case when the defense manages to close the baseline for the ball handler. If the guard can penetrate deeper into the paint, the rule is that the shooter must move upwards to receive the ball for his shot. Of course, in that area might be the screener, but he will react also in some ways to all of this movement. However, it is not the goal of the video to teach the team game, as this will be easier for any coach, as soon as the players train and master the individual game. Let's suppose the defender tries to contain the guard during the penetration, all the way throughout the paint, and to force him out on the opposite side. The first rule cannot be applied. For the second rule, the shooter is already positioned higher up. Here comes the third one. As soon as the ball handler exits out of the paint, Pero should go for a backdoor cut, as there will be a lot of confusion defensively in that corner. So, then, as you can see, we've covered a corner shot, a wing three-pointer, and a backdoor penetration. One of the goals of this practice is to train the shooter to synchronize with the ball handler, which in our case is me, the coach, to read his position, and to react to the rules we've set. The main goal, however, is to practice the game shots out of this situation. Needless to remind you that you should go both sides, right and left. As you go through most of the situations that can occur in the game, and you can score consistently out of them, your team game will become much easier, and you'll be able to integrate into any system. Give this one a try and tell us how it was. If you have any questions hit us with a comment, and you may want to check those videos up here too, as we are sure you'll love them. Hope you've enjoyed this one, and if you did, please give us a thumb up. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you'll not miss anything.